Behind me is the data from the largest MLS system in the country. You can see it covers all these associations. And we can see that the price, we've had a little bit large of a price drop. And that was average, that was median. But more importantly, and this is the data I've been tracking for years, we've seen a pretty sharp rise in inventory. Now, this is along with all the anecdotal evidence I hear from realtors and their clients uh, that homes are on the market longer. Uh, there, there's not as enough fight for the prop for many properties. Um, but I do want to add um, a little bit of, uh, from both sides of this. Uh, this is still a seller's market in terms of the inventory, in terms of the data. Now, it could change during the next 30-day period. But this is up until June, and we're just now July 6th, um, maybe the 7th. <laughs> Let's see. It's the 7th. Um, and uh, it, 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 this is June's data, uh, and we'll wait until the end of the month to see more of it. And this is from, as I said, the largest MLS in the country. But just let me just pick, we'll just pick North San Diego County, um, and we'll see. We're seeing the same thing. Uh, the data is starting to show that houses are on the market longer. Now, um, I'm a real estate attorney and a broker, and this is a, a message that I learned counseling. Uh, I mean, I did over two, three hundred. My, my website was upside down real estate.com. Upside down real estate.com. Still is. And right now, I'm not saying there's a much higher percentage of people who are now upside down. It's probably only people who have recently refinanced the home and maybe after they pay real estate commissions, they'd be upside down. So that's a very small segment. But for the people that have equity, uh, what I will say is we don't really know how much equity there is anymore. And we don't really know what your best selling options or your best options at all are, unless you know the exact price you're gonna sell for in 30 days. So there's a couple things that go, uh, that's going on. You need an extremely competent realtor who can react quickly to what's going on in the market, who understands the data, who understands how to market in a slower market situation uh, and, and knows how to get the buyers to compete against each other, but do it in the proper time frame without driving them away. But more importantly, when selecting your realtor, the most important message I have that I learned from doing hundreds of short sales myself, but advising people all over the country on how to get out of real estate contracts was that uh, if you lock into a six month or one year, even a three month contract with your realtor, and what you've locked into a 5 or 6% commission, you may be stuck and really stuck. I mean, like not sure what you can do. You talk to the realtor, like, well, my broker won't let me. They've got all the uh, pre-canned uh, excuses that they all learn from their real estate training. And you're locked in this contract as your equity is disappearing and your options become limited. And you get some people got forced into an upside down situation. That is unacceptable. The next thing is do not take it from your realtor's mouth that you can get out of your contract at any time. It must be in the listing contract. So what do I, I advise all people is you have a 30 day contract at my, max. I much prefer to get out at any time or really it's a 24 hour cancellation. The realtor has a right to talk to you about your options, especially if you're in the middle of a negotiation with a buyer. Um, but it's either 30 days, get out at any time. Um, we also, uh, we want to make sure we cross out that section that allows your realtor to have a tail that if they introduce buyers to the property and kept track of it, that they get the commission for 30, 60, 90 days, because that limits your flexibility with your next realtor and your next option. So on those listing contracts, 30 day listing, uh, periods max. And even that I don't prefer and absolutely cross out that tail. That tail will get in you in so many problems and it must be in writing and you must have it signed by that realtor's broker. Um, so that's the most important thing. It, it keeps you flexible. So if markets change, um, at, at some point, some realtors will work with you and say, well, you know, you're not going to have much equity here. So I'm going to reduce real estate commissions. And I know how to do that ahead of time so I can get buyers to still buy your home. Th this is a market now for realtors who've had experience in the previous market, who dealt with all these problems in the transitional period that we're in. I'm not saying we're going big into a foreclosure. I'm not saying we're even going to have a recession. I'm just saying it's important now to work with a top realtor and to make sure you have a contract that drives for you. Now, um, one of the things I must tell you is that all these realtors get free training from their brokers 
They, they can pay for training from guys like Tom Ferry, and they give them a, like, how to handle objections book. It's, it's so pre-canned. If you're operating with a realtor that's just giving you canned objections and not really work with you, do not sign anything with them. That's really the first test. Hey, I know you like six months to a year, but I need to go to 30 days max. If you get pre-canned objections and they're not willing to work with you and they're not concerned, they're not, they're about their concerns and they tell you, well, I couldn't do that because I'm such a great realtor and I make money for my clients. Walk away. Absolutely look at me in the eye and say, look, I'm the customer. I'm the client. This is my asset that I'm selling. It's my future. I worked hard for these things. I don't know what you've done, but if you're a business person, you'll work with me on this. If you're not, if you're just giving me pre-canned objections, I'm not interested, right? I mean, that's really what this is. These people, the vast majority of realtors who are intelligent will understand the situation. Um, and if they're not willing to understand the situation, they shouldn't be working with you. Now, um, so I, 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 I know I got passionate there, but it's really important. I had so many people so wrecked because they were stuck in these contracts with realtors and their brokers and the brokers weren't on it, honoring the words of the realtor that I just want to stop that right now. Now, secondly, uh, if you want to go, uh, you can go to winnerscheck.com and set up a consult with me. It's absolutely free. I'll give you those tips, the tips I have for hiring realtors, how much you should be offering uh, to buyer's agents because that changes with the market, uh, how much you should be paying your realtor, and really how to negotiate, how to stimulate multiple offers in a transitional market. All those things we'll talk about. And you can either then use that information to hire the real yourself or ask me to work with you, oversee the file, and it'll be at no extra cost. That's at winnerscheck.com. I'm going to put up a lot of training there right now. I'm switching the website over from Kajabi to uh, uh, a Go High Level website. So um, uh, right now it's just sign up, uh, maybe even just send me a text I'll get back with you and we'll have a quick consult over the phone to see if we can work together, see if there's options. But I'm happy to go over any of your questions about how to make sure you're not locked into a listing contract. That I, That's so valuable and I'm more than happy to just e explain that to people. I have so much empathy for the people that got wrecked in the last transitional market. Um, thanks. My name is John McConnell. I'm a real estate broker and, a, and an attorney in California. I work with realtors all over the country and lawyers to make sure you're protected. And we can almost always do it at no extra cost if that's what you want. Some people would rather just pay us and let the realtor make their full commission, but we can work with you and make sure you're protected and, and actually help optimize the process for you. So you, you're able to buy and sell. You can work directly with the realtor. We've got programs to make your realtors work for you instead of you working for your realtor. Thanks. Talk to you later. Um, happy selling.